Chateau de Cheap, 1775. I don't think this year the Constitution was done. It's vinegar. Chateau de Cheap, 1775. So it's turned to vinegar. Let's give that to uh, Ogie. We now have vinegar. Chateau de Cheap, 1775. Except now it's vinegar. So let's give this to Mr. Ah, Red. Ah, the final element for my ingenious battery. Stand back, boy. Give me room to work. How much room do you need to make a battery? A saw, a chainsaw, a hammer, a thing, another thing, but what? Oh my god! He's going to destroy the world! What? What's he doing? It's a lot just to make a super battery. A miracle of modern science. It modern science. Until I take it with me to Baltimore. Why are you going to Baltimore? It's Red's battery. Let's take this battery. Don't look now, but the British are coming, dude. The British? Eh? Where? Is that supposed to be funny? I'm very busy. It's very funny. In fact, it's so funny we stole your battery. Well, actually, it's kind of. It's Ed's mine, battery. Mine, mine, mine. The meter says that it's at zero power. So we we stole the battery. What do you do with said battery? Well, we need to help out Mr. Uh, Jefferson uh, Franklin. Sorry, we need to help Mr. Franklin out. He needs a rainproof uh, kite material. Let's give him I the coat. I got something good for you, Mister. Uh, Mister. Mister Brainstorm. Yes, hand it over. Hmm. Doesn't this belong to somebody? Yes. Yeah, Red Edison. Ah. Then I shall destroy it I'm because. Sorry, but the man has no vision. A Science. A durable fabric like this going to waste down in his basement. When I'm done with it, it will fly. Hmm. Eureka! The all-season Francocopter, ready to make history. Francocopter? It's a kite, not a helicopter. Later that day... No, there's no fuse. So, what do I light? For the last time, you're not <laughs> going to light anything. You just push it. Push the it? Whole time? How am I going to get up that high? Listen, just wait for me to say the word now. Then push the kite into the air. All right. All right. Sounds simple. I'm on you, lasagna. Let's hope so. All right, if we just wait here with the kite, I guess... Oops. Oops. Sorry. What part of the word now didn't you understand? Uh... Duh. Look, it's very simple. I say now and you push the kite. Comprenez-vous? Got it. Marvelous! Alright, so this time we just stand here and wait. Actually, we're going to use the device in the kite. Now. All right. I'll wait for him to say now. Now. Uh, I, I'm nervous. Now, in the name of science, now. Science. Oops. Oops. <laughs> oh, I just love doing this to Franklin. Look, it's very simple. I say now, and you push the kite. Comprenez-vous? I'm not French. Got it. Marvelous! Okay, this time we're actually gonna use the kite. But after he says, for the love of science! Science! Now. Come on, Franklin. You run pretty slow. No! No, I don't wanna. No! In the name of science, no! Haha, <laughs> science! We Go, Kite, go! She's handling kind of funny. It's fine. You got it. Just hang on there. She's too heavy. I can't control her. She's hang crazy. On, ben. Hang on. She's breaking up. She's <laughs> breaking up. Run for your life. The kite's coming towards us later that day. Now that was interesting. You think? Yeah. Say, can I see that kite for a second? 
No, I'm taking it back to my lab in Philly right now so I can study the results. It was struck by lightning. Luck. <gasps> the battery. Yoink. I never got your name. It's Hoagie, sir. Nice working with you, Hoagie. I promise to name an invention after you someday. Gosh, thanks. I wonder if it was a sandwich. The meter says it's fully powered. We got one piece of the comp of the battery now. Or, not the battery, but one piece. So we can go. Let's use the battery with the plug. Whoa. It's all powered up. Let's use it. Well, I'm all ready to go, but I guess I'll have to wait for Bernard and Laverne. Let's go back to Bernard. Dr. Fred, what do we do now? We wait for those buddies of yours to plug in their johns. How are they going to know if they're in the future, or in the past, or the present, or... Laverne, we need to do your stuff now, but we need to go back to Bernard. We have things we have to do here still. Actually, we have, uh, two things. One, the mouse. And two, we need to grab something else. We're getting pretty close to the end of, uh, Day of the Tentacle. But we need to grab one more thing here. It's a good little game. It's a little short, but... I, I enjoy it. It's not my favorite of the LucasArts games, but... There you go. We use a textbook on the horse. We need your teeth, buddy. Ahem. The LALR compiler is constructed by the following method. You and your First, techno babble. Develop a rigorous elective grammar. If the elements have NP completeness, the crunchy factor can be ignored. Crunchy. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa. The horse is asleep. Let's steal your teeth. These are almost as gross as my friend Eddie's teeth, and he eats raw sewage on stage. I'm never gonna ask. There you go. Talk to the horse. You who? You who? Push the horse? I don't got nothing to prove. You don't got what? Use the horse. For what? Riding, you fool. Pick up the horse. Not my type. Yeah. <laughs> I actually never tried that before. Is Mr. Franklin still here? No, he's not. He's gone. Well, we got everything we need. All right. It's closed. Let's open it. Hmm, looks like there's some kind of rodent down there. Let's pick up some kind of rodent. It's a hamster. Ugh, it's gonna be cold. He's frozen solid. Close it. Don't want to waste electricity. All right, we need a human for the human show. <laughs> you're not a human. You're a tentacle. That's exactly what we don't want. Human. I need you, human. There we go. Let's push him. Just because. Take that, mummy. Just because it's funny. Well, let's go. We got our human for the human show. Hey, what about the human show? Ah, oh, hello. I say, have I told you about the time I was nearly caught in a wheat thresher? I had tracked a wheat a thresher? Human to a farm in Iowa. Because and Iowa has farms. Field, which was presumably meant to scare away crows or thieves. Anyway, the amusing bit is that... Mmm. Yes. I was actually kind of interested. Never mind. I forgot what I was going to say. Let's talk to him again. Oh, I want to hear one more story. Hello. Have I told you about the time I tracked a human all the way to the North Pole? Was it Santa? It was a short one, I remember, with curiously pointed ears. I had to eat my sled dogs by the time I caught up with Pointed ears? Sounds he like an elf. He up in a workshop there, and there was a fat human in a rather garish red suit who... Mmm. <gasps> yes. That person sounds familiar. Never mind. I forgot what I was going to say. One more story. Ah, oh, hello. I say, have I told you about the time I... Mmm. Yes? Never mind. Oh, uh, no more stories. I was going to say. Well, let's enter our pretend human into the human show. Ding. Well, that's the spirit. Everyone's raring to go. Let's get this show on the road. 
All right, our uh, humans in the human show. Here it comes, my finest hour.